Brad. You're watching Tips for Technicians. Today we're looking at a Samsung and a heating operation. Now a few things before we look at the actual pressures and temperatures so that I can give you good recommendations on what to check. I'm going to tell you that the indoor fan is set to high right now and it's not going to run until the actual indoor evaporator temperature reaches 100 degrees. Uh, then the fan will start to blow inside the actual um, room. So let's go take a look at the pressures and the temperatures and I'll show you what to look for. So I found a leak on the vapor line, fixed the leak. I'm gonna charge the unit, but I've gotta weigh in the actual factory charge because I can't just put refrigerant in it. Looking at the vapor temperature, it's at 107 degrees. And looking at the vapor pressure, it's at 150. Now I can go ahead and tell you right off the bat, um, because I found the leak, the unit is low of charge. This vapor pressure is gonna read upwards of 300. It's not gonna read 150, that's half of the actual pressure uh, that is required to make 100 degrees. It's got to be a lot higher than that to make the actual coil inside the correct temperature for it to blow air. Uh, so I just wanted to tell you a couple things you need to look for is you need to get a uh, temperature probe uh, to clamp on uh, the vapor line. Uh, you definitely need to measure the temperature going inside and you definitely need to get some gauges. You got to use your high side gauge uh, because most likely this low side is going to be, it's going to be upwards of 350 and it's just going to retard there. I just charged the system back up, factory charge. I'm going to show you what your reading should look like on your temperature probe on that vapor line. That's 160 degrees right there. See that? 150 and 160 and it's climbing and then this is 325. So that is a good uh, vapor pressure uh, that you're going to read and it's actually 25 degrees outside right now. So got that clamped on there. Let me show you. See? All right, guys. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps. If you have any questions about Samsung units, I'm here to help you. And I want to make sure that you don't mess it up. See ya.